I started Summer Songs because I was lonely. And I basically I just didn't have any community of songwriters to hang out with uh, where we lived. And uh, that was really getting to me after a while because I get my inspiration from being with other writers, hearing other songs and being present with them. Somehow listening to CDs doesn't do it for me. But being, you know, actually seeing someone perform a song that they wrote live is a very creative experience. And uh, I wanted, I was missing that experience. One day, it just occurred to me in 1998, I think it was, this would be a fabulous type place to start a songwriting camp. Because I had <clears throat> taught at the Puget Sound Guitar Workshop in the early 90s, late 80s, and I loved that experience. I wrote 30 songs the first year that I went. After I left, I, I wrote 30 songs in a month. And I knew that, you know, there's tremendous inspiration and tremendous um, empowerment in this idea of getting together in community and inspiring each other. The first teachers were me and David Roth and Sloan Wainwright and Cozy Sheridan and Bob Frankie and Steve Gillette and Cindy Mason. We were the first teachers. And uh, so that was uh, 12 years ago and yeah, we've been doing it ever since. And it's grown and grown. Our largest camp was 92 people, and the ages, the people range in age from, you know, 18 to 70. I'm hoping that people will come here to camp and they will experience a deep level of um, appreciation for their own creative process and for um, their own ability to write and that will empower them to go out and uh, write songs and uh, write about the communities they live in, the people they know, the people they love, the situations and stories of their lives and share that with uh, their community because one of the things that I think is missing in um, American culture is um, the connection to our own real lives as opposed to American Idol and uh, the, uh, the kind of uh, formulaic experience of music that you hear on the radio and television a lot, which is they find one thing that works and then they do that over and over and over and over again as long as they can make money with it. But um, music is much more than that and people's range, the range of imagination and art that's in and available to people is much greater than what you hear on the radio and television. And also the, um, not only the range of artistic expression, but the level of competence and experience and skill is huge. Much, much more than what you see on TV. And you don't even, you don't even know that unless you uh, go places where you see live original music and musicians playing together um, and uh, that can happen just about anywhere but generally doesn't happen on television and radio. So that's why it's, I think it's, I feel like we're saving American culture by continuing to create um, places where people can write their own music. The elements are that it's a, a safe place. When people come to summer songs, there's a level of trust involved in that uh, they don't have to worry about, um, about making a living while they're here. They're not on the cell phone or the internet doing business most of the time. They don't have to worry about eating. <laughs> they don't have to worry about where they're going to sleep. Everything is taken care of so that they can devote themselves completely to whatever creative process uh, they have or they can find in themselves. 
And that also it's safe because it gives them a judgment-free, critic-free area in which to explore and play with whatever images and ideas and music they want to play with. Um, it also um, acts as a, a way for people to experience themselves as just fine the way they are, you know, and uh, coming from uh, the, the incredibly judgmental and stratified uh, view of music that you see on uh, uh, in the media. Um, being somewhere where you can play a song and people are not immediately cutting you down for some stupid arbitrary reason um, is very freeing and healing for a lot of people. Well, I, I immediately think of my friend um, um, I have a friend back east who wrote a song with me. Well, this man, when he first came to camp, and this, this person is a psychiatrist, when he first came to camp, he could only cry. He would sit on stage and he would cry and cry and cry. And when he tried to sing something, he, it would just come out this literally incomprehensible garbling sound and crying. And we, we were mystified, but we, you know, all of us, we would just, you know, give him as much support as we could. Great job, you know. He'd come back year after year after year. And what we noticed finally after about four or five years was that he was getting better. And he became more and more coherent over time. And um, it's really kind of amazing. Uh, he writes really funny, interesting songs now. But he had to get, work through a lot of internal stuff about music and about himself and performing and everything. And uh, Summer Songs was a place where he could um, do that without any penalties, you know. Just go through his process, whatever it is. And now, and then he co wrote a song with me, uh, which is on my newest record, The Eight Voyages of Nap. It's called Calvin. And um, I'm really proud of him. Most people who come are somewhere in the middle, you know, between complete beginners and professional singer songwriters. And, um, what invariably ends up happening is that all the people who came as amateur in the middle singer-songwriters five years ago are now out playing gigs every weekend. And that seems to be a natural progression for them of where they want to go. But it's also nice to know that there's people out there who come to camp who don't end up going out and doing gigs every weekend, but they're still very, very good songwriters now. Because the point of it is to work on your art and your craft as a way, as a means of self-expression, um, not to necessarily create a career for yourself in the music business. Well, summer songs is a unique environment for people, everybody, for all kinds of people, to get in touch with their creative process. Um, we get people who have never written a song before in their lives, and we get people who are professionals who are out playing all over the place. And they all come away from the experience with something new in their basket of skills and insights and uh, experiences that they can use in the future for whatever you know thing they're doing. But it teaches uh, people on a deep level to appreciate their own process.